My dear friends, today I want to speak from the topic, God will restore all you have lost. God surely will restore all you have lost. God will make it up to you. God knows how to replace all you have lost. He sees the tears, the pain, and the hurt you are going through. He will not let you down. He will never leave you empty. God will never leave you empty-handed. God is a rewarder. Our God is a God who replenishes. The devil may have taken it. God will give it back to you. When God restores, he restores a double-fold, threefold, and a hundredfold. Your latter blessing will be great. That Jesus restored their eyes, restored their hearing, and those he restored their speech. God is in the business of restoring people. When Jesus was doing his public ministry here on earth, all he does is to go about restoring people, healing the sick, restoring hope to the hopeless, and strengthening the weak. God never changes. He is still the same God. He did it yesterday. He can still do it today. If he did it for people in the past, what makes you think he can't still do it today? He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God will continue to be God. God can never cease to be God when it comes to your situation. God can never stop being good when it comes to you. We all are children of God. We are all creatures of God. God loves us equally. We are the apple of God's eyes. God loves to see us smile and happy. God loves to see us rejoice and celebrate. I know a family member. She lost her first baby. A year later, God blessed her with twins. I also know a friend who lost his job. Six months later, God gave him a job where he is paid twice as much as what he made in his previous job. Every disappointment could be a blessing in disguise. Quit whining, complaining, and dwelling on what you have lost when you can hope for a greater restoration from God. 
There is a reason why God allowed the loss. If it is not going to be for your good, God will never allow it. You may have lost some friends. It may be a way God is removing bad people from your life so that they may create a room and a space for better people to come into your life. Sometimes we think that God does not know what he's doing. He knows. He is smarter than us. He is a wise God. Some of you may have lost a house, a family member, a friend, a loved one, a job, or even money. Naturally, it hurts. It is painful. It is okay to cry. But after crying, wipe away your tears. Ask God to restore all or what you have lost. You may not see how possible it is to restore whatever you lost. It is not up to you to know the how. Leave it to God. Leave it for God. With God, all things are possible. Where human powers stop, there the power of God begins. You can always pray, God, please restore me. Restore all I have lost according to your will. God is our gracious and generous benefactor. He is the author of all things good. He can give back what has been taken away from you. What you lost is only a creature of God. Once you still have the creator, you don't need to worry because he can replace it. How often do we even lose our minds? How often do we lose ourselves? Don't worry. God knows. He sees. He understands. And he feels our pain. He will restore us. I know a lady. She was married for 20 years. She went through a bitter divorce. She lost the love of her life through divorce. She was so bitter. She never knew she, she never knew she could find love again. I told her what I am telling you now. She prayed, she waited, she hoped, and she persevered. Five years later, God brought her a man who truly loved her, who cherishes her, adores her, and treats her like a queen. Now they are happily married for 30 years. This lady loves this man to the moon. This man is a God-fearing man, decent, extremely wealthy, and a wonderful husband. God allowed you to lose it so that he can give you better and what you truly deserve. In the season of fall or autumn, the trees lose their leaves. The trees lose their green, their beauty and admiration, and they look dry, disgusting, and unattractive. But as soon as it is spring, early summer, the trees come back alive again. The leaves come back. The trees and the flowers bloom and blossom and look so beautiful. Imagine giving up on those trees during fall season. Sometimes in life, we have to lose ourselves in order to find ourselves again. We have to lose in order to find. As you are listening, I don't know what you have lost. First of all, I am sorry for anything you have lost recently. Be of good cheer. You have not yet lo lost your God. Trust him to supply. Trust him to provide. And trust him to restore. He will replace it. He will give you double for anything you lost. God is faithful. Daniel was lost in the lion's den. God rescued him. Meshach Abednego and Shadrach were tossed in the fire. They were lost in the fire. God saved them. You too, you are a child of God. Jesus tells us in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 7, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be opened unto you. As long as you are alive, God will restore it. As long as God is still God, as long as God is still on the throne, whatever that is not restored on this earth, God will restore in heaven. A child once asked, will I see my dog that died in heaven? A man of God answered him, yes, that in heaven, whatever we have lost will be restored. If not now, later. God knows when and how. Just continue to count on him. I want to end with the words of the scripture. I will restore to you the years 
locusts and canker worm have eaten. Thank you for listening and God bless you.